In this next page of our journal, we're making spirograph line drawings. Lines are the entire design. So what you're going to need is the special tool that makes these kind of drawings, gel pens, a glue stick, some permanent ink pens with a fine tip, um, and I think we're good to go. And you'll also need your mixed media paper sketchbook, of course. I'm using a smaller uh, sketchbook today because I need it to fit in this special tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear out a piece to get rolling. And then you just lift up the lid and put your paper inside. And th this tool comes with a, a bunch of different wheels, but my favorite right now is the number 33 wheel on the number one setting. Each hole has a number and each wheel has a number two because there's all different sizes of them. You can see they come in really small to pretty big. So you'll put your ink pen in the number one hole and you wanna make sure that you hold on to this red ring and then keep your ink pen straight up and down and kind of push out towards the red ring. And you can see I'm already starting my design with this repeated circular motion. And all I'm doing is just letting the tool do the work. But it's really important that you hold your ink pen straight up and down. And you wanna just keep going until you complete one entire round. See, I'm going back to start, uh, or to stop where I started my line. Perfect. So now, you'll take it out of your ring, and if you look at my finished designs over here in my sketchbook, I've used these to actually create more artwork. So, um, here I have a flower that I doodled in, which is what I'm going to show you today, or you can use these same spirograph drawings to make snowflakes. Anything, really. So now, to color them in, I'm gonna switch over to a special gel ink pen, and I'm using fluorescence because they're so um, fun and shiny. And you can start on the outside, and you'll just color in in each of your little geometric shapes. And you can alternate colors, or uh, alternate colors and um, these openings in your design. Let's switch colors just for fun. How about pink? But these pens will take a second to dry, so you wanna make sure that you don't smear them. But when they dry, they look nice and shiny, and they flow really easy because they are gel. So let's look at some that I've already finished here. And you can see, you can do them in any colors, and they look so cool. So to finish it up, there's a few different things that you can do. For this one, just for fun, I'm going to use a glue stick. I'm gonna start a new page and put some glue on the back, adhere it into my journal. And then just for fun, because I think they're so shiny, I'm gonna fill the center with a little bit of glitter glue. And this is gonna take some time to dry too, but I think it looks really cool with the contrasting lines from our um, spirograph tool and the colors of the petals of the flowers.